Pseudomonas infections are illnesses that occur due to bacteria Pseudomonas. For many people, a Pseudomonas infection will only cause mild symptoms. However, if a person is in a hospital or has a weakened immune system, the threat becomes very severe. In these situations, a Pseudomonas infection can be life-threatening. The good news is that these infections are treatable, especially with an early diagnosis. In this video, we look at the causes, risk factors, and symptoms of Pseudomonas infections. We will also discover how people can prevent and treat them naturally. What is Pseudomonas aeruginosa? Pseudomonas aeruginosa is a common encapsulated, gram-negative, rod-shaped bacterium that can cause disease in plants and animals, including humans. The bacteria are found widely in the environment, such as in soil, water, and plants. They usually do not cause infections in healthy people. If an infection does occur in a healthy person, it is generally mild. Infections can occur in any part of the body. Symptoms depend on which part of the body is infected. Pseudomonas infection could be fatal in people who are already very ill with other illnesses. The most vulnerable include people who have severe burns or have had surgery or another invasive procedure, are using a breathing machine or catheter or undergoing chemotherapy have diabetes have cystic fibrosis have HIV, which can damage the immune system or have any other medical condition that compromises the immune system. The areas of the body that the infections are most likely to affect are the ears, skin, lungs, soft tissue, and blood. A pseudomonas infection that reaches the bloodstream tends to be more severe. Common symptoms of the infections include pain, itching, and liquid discharge of the ears, skin rashes, which may consist of pus-filled pimples, pain and redness of the eye, pneumonia, coughing, and congestion in the lungs. In the soft tissue there is a discharge of green pus and sweet, fruity smell. In the blood, joint pain and stiffness, fever, chills, and fatigue. Other possible symptoms, a headache, diarrhea, or urinary tract infection. Antibiotics are the best option to treat pseudomonas or other bacterial infections. Some pseudomonas infections require an aggressive approach with powerful drugs. The earlier the treatment begins, the more effective it is in stopping the infection. Antibiotics are used to kill or inhibit bacteria growth. Although you might think of antibiotics as modern medicine, they've actually been around for centuries. The original antibiotics, like a lot of today's antibiotics, are derived from natural sources. Some most common natural remedies includes Honey Honey contains hydrogen peroxide trusted source, which may account for some of its antibacterial properties. It also has a high sugar content, which can help stop the growth of certain bacteria. Additionally, honey has a low pH level. This works to pull moisture away from bacteria, causing the bacteria to get dehydrated and die off. Garlic. Garlic is generally safe to ingest, but large doses might cause internal bleeding. Up to two cloves per day is considered an acceptable dosage. If you're taking a garlic supplement, be sure to follow the dosage directions as provided. If you're taking blood thinning medication, consult your doctor before using garlic as an antibiotic. Large doses of garlic can amplify the effects of this medication. You can also apply garlic concentrate directly to a wound or blemish. Myrrh. Many people are familiar with myrrh, but its ability to ward off harmful germs isn't as widely known. Researchers in a 2000 study concluded that an extract of myrrh could kill off several everyday pathogens. Myrrh is generally well tolerated, but ingesting it may cause diarrhea. In many cases, pseudomonas infections are preventable. Bacteria live and breed in moist places. The more dirty and moist those places become, the more bacteria live and breed there. Therefore, whether it is in the intensive care unit or at the local swimming pool, cleanliness is vital. Stay clean and prevent pseudomonas infections. Like and subscribe to this channel. Comment below and tell us what health topics you want videos on. Thank you for watching.